Welcome Tech Weather Zamir. In this video, we are going to learn how to use fail activity in Fabric data pipelines. Um, so, what is fail activity in uh, Microsoft Fabric or data pipeline? Um, the fail activity is used to intentionally stop a pipeline run and mark it to fail uh, along with custom errors messages. Uh, it is useful uh, when uh, you want to forcefully exit the pipeline uh, if a certain condition isn't met uh, or uh, if something critical is missing. Uh, so, you can think of a scenario something like this uh, if something goes wrong uh, and you want to pipeline to fail on purpose uh, you can drop a fail activity with a message like a requested file not found or invalid uh, input detected um, so there are some use cases a file not found we can fail the pipeline data check failed validation failed such as uh, zero rows or null values api or lookup failed if external system does not return expected results loop exceeds the threshold if loops run too many times force exit and the testing of failure path simulate pipeline failures for debugging or alert so there are so many scenarios we need this fail activity Think about a scenario in uh, my case, so let's say you have this uh, sales data NA file and uh, I need to check this file every time uh, I need to load. So let's say if this file does exist, uh, then I'm fine. I'm going to go ahead and load this file. In the previous video, you have seen that I have used if condition uh, and uh, then uh, if file exists, we load it. And if it does not exist, maybe we will just uh, end the uh, pipeline after uh, you know marking it success. Uh, so think if this file is not dropped for months and months, uh, you would not even know new data is coming or not because your pipeline is completing uh, as you have the logic uh, to complete it. If file does not exist, it's not going to fail. So in those scenarios, this is helpful. You mark this pipeline fail and then uh, generate this error, custom error that say like, hey, guess what? The file does not exist and this pipeline failed. So people start taking a look right away. You can create the alert on uh, failure of these pipelines and all that. Uh, so let's go to the pipelines here so we go to our workspace here and then go to pipelines folder and here i'm going to create a new item and select a data pipeline now let's call this one a pl uh, failed activity or fail activity so now our pipeline is ready let's click on pipeline activity here and then first of all i would like to use get metadata here i want to get metadata because i want to check if the file exists let's go to settings here and go to the lake house and here is my lake house called tech browser lake house now i'm going to select the file so let me take to the files here and browse to all the way to the folder and choose the file that i would like to check so here is my input folder and then you have the file so we are going to check if sales data north america exists if that exists that's fine we are going to load into the table so here in the field items we are going to check for the argument exist so if this exists that's going to be fine we are going to use the if condition here so let me go back here and say if condition and now i'm going to connect my get metadata with the if condition i'm going to go to the activities here and uh, write to expression so add dynamic content here and we are selecting the child uh, sorry no the this one where a file folder or table exists so that's what we are checking if this is going to be exist is equal to true then it's going to go in this part okay so if we go in this part maybe you can go ahead and load the data so we go ahead and we are going to go to the source here and then we make a connection so we choose our lake house and in the lake house files and then we go to browse and then select the file select our uh, customer data uh, sales data north america hit ok and now we are going to tell this uh, delimited text file and uh, go to destination and uh, here we are going to the warehouse so let's uh, take to the warehouse uh, tech data warehouse uh, and this, uh, we have a existing table called the sales data so let's select that so we have sales uh, data somewhere let me see here right here and now I'm going to go to mapping right there and uh, import schemas. And uh, once uh, we have a schema for source and destination, we should be fine. So every time the file will exist, it is going to run the copy activity and load the data. That's fine. So now it's all good here. But uh, we are worried about the if the file does not exist. So in this case, uh, if uh, we have this expression uh, and we execute this uh, uh, pipeline, uh, what's going to happen? It's going to run and see uh, if it will give us error. So let's uh, run it for a second. Here is my sales data. So I'm going to just uh, 
take a look on the data here. So we will take a look. There are some records already there. So we should have more records. So we have 15 records here and go to pipeline here. So you see that the pipeline is still running, it's in progress and now it should be able to load the data to our sales data table. Okay, our copy activity is completed and conditional uh, uh, activity is also completed. So you can see that uh, now five records are loaded to the this uh, table. So we can right, go right here and uh, say five records are loaded. So now we should have 20 records uh, in this uh, table. Um, so if I execute this, uh, we should get the 20 records uh, that we can see right here. Uh, all good here now let me go back uh, and make some changes so in this uh, you remember that this is a sales and a data so if i make a change uh, and now this file is not going to exist uh, in this case uh, now if i run this pipeline uh, it's going to run still with the success uh, and that is a problem because even my file is not there uh, I would never know if uh, you know my file was present or it was loaded or not because it's uh, the pipeline is going to complete with success every time and you see that the, now the pipeline is successful as well because get metadata got the information and it's saying hey guess what file does not exist so we haven't done anything to handle that so in this case uh, what I want to do I want to go to the if condition right here and then I'll go to right here and uh, I want to add activity called the fail so why I want to do fail because then my pipeline will fail and I want to say uh, the file sales uh, data underscore and a file does not exist in source folder. Okay. So and then you can give the error code depending upon the error code you, have, you like or maybe 100 is fine for us now. And now if you execute your pipeline as file does not exist it's going to run the pipeline but it is going to fail so the people will start paying attention to it guess what we there is some error with this uh, pipeline and when they will go and take a look on the error they will see that custom error we have added and there you go you can see right there the pipeline fail completed with uh, failure and now you can see the error operation on target file one failed and uh, you can see that the sales data NA file does not exist in source folder. So that's very helpful because if you have handled the situations without error, so in this if condition, if the file exists, load it. If does not exist, don't load it. Then it means you are never going to know if file was present or not. By adding this fail activity, that reminds us right away if the file does not exist, we fail the pipeline forcefully and uh, that will uh, put us in a situation where we'll go dig into the error and we see that error right away and then uh, we will start the debug again and come back to here uh, our source and say like guess what the, there was a file present but somebody has put with the wrong name so we need to correct that so in those cases we will be able to investigate or go back to our vendors and ask them hey this file you did not drop it for today so they will be like okay we need to drop it so they will drop in our share folders so i thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video